Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my class. This is Saira Wasi from Moolite International Publishers. I hope you all are fine and enjoying our digital lectures. Grade one students kindly open your English textbook developed by Moolite Publishers. Unit number twelve. Good habits. Before starting our today's lecture, I just want to show you some pictures indicating the good habits. Look at this picture. It means that we should use polite words. We should be very kind with others. In this picture, we can see that the environment is very neat and clean. So that's why it is looking too beautiful. So it should be our habit that we should keep our environment neat and clean. And yes, obviously. Looking at this picture, you should understand that we should use dustbin to discard anything. We should not throw rubbish on the floor. You tell me, do you keep yourself neat and clean? Now it's time to start our reading and critical thinking session. Just focus on your book. Page number one one three. Saba calls her daughter Amina for lunch. Amina first washes her hands with soap. After finishing her meal, she brushes her teeth and washes her hands again. The mother says, "Amina, it makes me very happy to see you washing your hands before and after meals and brushing after meals." Where did you learn this from? Amina replies, "Mama, our teacher teaches us good habits and says that these are the teachings of Islam." And yes, students, we should also make our habit to wash our hands before and after the meal, and we should also brush our teeth after taking our meal. This is the best habit that can cure us from many diseases. Now it's time to read all the good habits which Amna's teacher has taught her. Let's start. Wash your hands. Brush your teeth. Trim your nails once a week. Take a bath daily. Comb your hair regularly. Go to school in time. Share your toys with your siblings. Don't accept gifts from the strangers. Do not waste water. Help others. Respect your elders. Keep yourself, your school, and your home clean. I hope, students, that you have understood all the good habits taught to Amna by her teacher. Now it's time to think critically and give the answers of the questions. Who was calling Amna for the lunch? Recall the text and give the answer of this question. The answer is Amna's mother Saba was calling Amna for the lunch. Next question: What was Amna's routine before and after the meal? Recall the text and answer this question. And obviously, the answer is Amna. Washes her hands before and after the meal. Who teaches Amna the good habits? And the answer is Amna's class teacher teaches Amna the good habits. Now, students, you have to look at the pictures which I will show you on your screen, and you have to make sentence related to this picture. Look at this picture. So we can write a sentence that we should wash our hands before and after the meal. This is the second picture. And we can write a sentence: We should keep gardens, park, or houses neat and clean. Look at the next picture. It means we should help others. And yes, students, here we have completed our reading and critical thinking competency. Now it's time to move towards our language focus competency. And our first part is vocabulary building. While reading the text, we have already done that. These are the sight words. Now it's time to decide in which box you are going to put these words. I'm going to say these words. Let's start. Of, the, again, one, and very. Now put these words in the respective boxes. I hope students that you have understood this video very well. Now it's time to say Allah Hafiz to all of you. But don't forget to join me in my next video. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.